If I may, I would like to recite it and try to explain to you the meaning of each word. I, we, an individual, a committee of one, pledge, dedicate all my worldly goods to give without self-pity, allegiance, my love and my devotion to the flag, our standard, O oh glory, a symbol of freedom, and wherever she waves, there's respect, because your loyalty has given her dignity that shouts freedom is everybody's job. United, and that means that we have all come together. States, individual communities that have united into 48 great states, 48 individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose, all divided with imaginary boundaries, yet united to a common purpose, and that's love for country and to the Republic. Republic, a state in which sovereign powers is invested in representatives chosen by the people to govern, and government is the people. And it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people, for which it stands. One nation, one nation meaning, oh, so blessed by God, indivisible, incapable of being divided, with liberty, which is freedom, the right of power to live one's own life without threats, fears, or some sort of retaliation, and justice, the principle or qualities of dealing fairly with others, for all, for all, which means, boys and girls, it's as much your country as it is mine. And now, boys and girls, let me hear you recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And since I was that small boy, two states have been added to our country, and two words have been added to the Pledge of Allegiance, under God. Oh, wouldn't it be a pity if someone said it's a prayer, and that would be eliminated from our schools, too. Oh.